Are cirrus clouds a bad thing? Um, yes. And if you read this, this is really creepy. This is from the IPCC. Clouds and aerosol supplemental, supplementary material in climate change 2013 physics, a physical science basis. And this is a leading report on contrail cirrus. What jumps right off the page at me are the names in bold. So while Ken Caldera says chemtrails are not a thing, he actually wrote one of the major papers that the IPCC quotes on chemtrails. Also, Ulrich Lohman. Ooh, there's a new name that I, I probably should bold. Um, Philip Rosh, he's a weather modifier. Ben Kravitz, he's a geoengineer. Alan Robach, he's a geoengineer. Trude Story Elmo, she's a geoengineer. Whole bunch of damn geoengineers wrote the paper on Contrail Cirrus. Big surprise, not to me. Um, and the reason why is because Olivier Boucher was the lead author on this, okay? On this report right here. Very shortly after, he did like a 180 and said, Contrails formed by aircraft can evolve into cirrus clouds, indistinguishable from those formed naturally. I think we've all seen that. These spreading contrails may be causing more climate warming today than all the carbon dioxide emitted by aircraft since the start of aviation. So they're heating up the planet to boot, not just blocking satellites, not just making it darker for the military at night, but they're also melting the poles. Big surprise, big surprise, not to me. Um, a single aircraft operating conditions favorable for persistent contrail, contrail formation appears to exert a contrail-induced radiative forcing some 5,000 times greater than the recent, recent estimates of the average persistent contrail radiative forcing from the entire civil aviation fleet. That means the IPCC got it really, really wrong. Um, pretty important stuff right there. So we got some stuff on how climate models suck, and it's pretty funny. Um, there's a black comedy in the Geo MIP, which is the geoengineering uh, multi inter blah, blah, blah. You read this stuff. Um, every time you touch it, it goes bang, and it doesn't work. And that's what they're talking about with their climate models, because they're always wrong, because they don't understand anything about aerosols. And that's why there's so many government agencies racing around to figure out this aerosol problem. So what are they doing about chemtrails? That's the most important part. And what you find real quick, um, especially on my FAQ at climateviewer.com slash cirrus clouds matter, is that for the longest time, these geoengineers have been basically saying, let's geoengineer the planet with jet fuel. I have reference after reference after reference after reference. These are scientific references, government, universities, yada, yada, yada. Use commuter aircraft doped with your aerosol generators. Aircraft fuels doped with aerosol generators. That was William Cotton. I interviewed him at the weather modification conference this January. He said it at a weather modification conference. Dissolved or suspended in their jet fuel and later burned with the fuel. Reference right there, IOP.org, IOP Science. Options for dispensing gases from planes include addition of sulfur to the fuel, releasing the aerosol through the exhaust system of the plane. Boom. No problem, baby. Um, reference to that right there at uh, climate.rutgers.edu. Um, one exemplary technique may be via the jet fuel, as suggested by a prior work regarding metal particles. Patent. A potential delivery mechanism for seeding material is already in place. The airline industry. Yay! Stratospheric injection of sulfur species. Did I say that it was soot covered in sulfuric acid? That's how you inject sulfur into the stratosphere. Soot levitates upwards. Sulfuric acid goes with it. Metal particles are freed from it, make cirrus clouds. But the soot and the sulfur keep going up through the ozone layer. Sulfur was provided, um, <laughs> this is a great one. Detection of, for direct detection of total sulfuric acid has been achieved for the first time in the plume of a jet aircraft in flight. The measurements show the same sulfuric acid signatures for the, ca for the case when the sulfuric acid was injected directly into the exhaust 
as Harold Say would like to say, occurs. There's your evidence, brother man. Um, so spraying sulfuric acid directly into the exhaust or with the case when the sulfur was provided to the engine with fuel. Okay. Injection of H2SO4, sulfuric acid, a condensable vapor from an aircraft. Applying high fuel sulfur content at aviation cruise altitude combined with ultra low sulfur jet fuel or biofuel at lower altitude cooled the planet and killed less people around airports. That's the newest plan. So these are the facts, people. These are indisputable facts with references. When I talk to scientists, they cower because I've read all these papers and I have memorized. I hope that you will too. The reason this matters is because that's exactly what they did and now they are testing this. So this is from something we're going to cover a little later in the video called the access flights. Three different fuel types were discussed. Low sulfur JP8, a 50-50 blend of JP8 and camelina based HAFA fuel, which is a biofuel, and JP8 doped with sulfur. Just like William Cotton said. Oh, what's this little guy right here? Stratospheric sulfate injections with commercial aircraft. Commercial aircraft could be used to deliver sulfate into the stratosphere by increasing fuel sulfur content in the flight altitude inter of intercontinental flights. Not surprising to this guy. And here's some of those experiments from the sulfur experiments from 1994 up to 1999. Not a surprise. So what does that look like? Well, it looks like this. This is uh, the actual biofuels testing at the alternative fuel effects on contrails and cruise emissions or access flights. And what they did was they basically flew behind a plane and they flew up into the chemtrails and there you see the particles they're collecting. Ooh, ultrafine particles. These are all the metal. All of this is on my site. Yes. Um, this is on Cirrus Clouds Matter. It's climateviewer.com slash Cirrus Clouds Matter. 